Hey everybody, welcome to another Family Flips unboxing. We've got this one right here, which came from Natural State Liquidation. We paid 450 for this, and we did not pay any shipping because uh, this, this company is really, really good at delivering uh, to the local city limits area for free if we purchase it. So that's really awesome. It was a huge perk for us, which means that our total is only $450. Um, new, new liquidator, we're gonna go ahead and keep our tentative goal of trying to double our money. We're not quite sure uh, what how this is gonna turn out, but I really do have high hopes for this. So our goal is $900. If you're interested in seeing more of our unboxing videos or you'd like to see how we move this product uh, based on our business model, Make sure you hit that subscribe button and watch our latest episodes as they come out. We post multiple times a week. This is a Target palette, and we are so excited about being able to unbox something new, something different. We love Amazon, and we'll probably will be buying more Amazon palettes, uh, but we were eager for the opportunity to be able to unbox Target today, uh, which is super exciting. So what Natural State Liquidation does is they bought this palette actually from liquidation.com. They don't go and buy direct truckloads or buy from a lot of larger liquidators. They go and they find the best prices for palettes that they can find for that week and they'll buy 12 to 16 at a time depending upon how many they can fit in their uh, truck that they rent and then they go and they pick them up and they bring them back and sell them to people locally and yes we could have probably got this pallet cheaper by ordering it from liquidation.com but once we would have arranged shipping and had our freight carrier ship it to us we would have paid more than 450 bucks so i thought it was awesome so maybe something for you guys to do out there wherever you are is to try and find somebody locally like this that may go pick up you know 12 to 16 pallets a week get them at a cheaper price than what you could normally uh, and help save some money box number one all right this has salvage on it so this will be fun the whole palette was labeled salvage <laughs> uh. so we'll see what happens oh that's a lot of random stuff in here a lot of random stuff okay <laughs> uh so incense incense Ooh, it smells good <laughs> Mm. That may never leave our house. Well, this will be a good uh, flea market sale. Yeah. For sure. I'm just curious to know how much this... Oh, look. It even got a price on it already. $9.99. So, uh, I bet we could sell that for like five bucks at the flea market. Yep. I mean, just something super simple. And then, uh, can you spot it first? Oh, animal identification games. Oh, uh, that's cool. This is great. There's prices already on here. Looky there. So that's another what? Two bucks? Yeah. Yeah, another two so bucks. So this would be great for flea market because it's already got the retail I mean, price on it. I'm just making sure because it's salvage. I, yeah, I mean, this isn't, no, this is perfect. Yep. Perfect. Nice. Cool. So that's another two bucks. Okay. Bark box. What is this? A margarita? What is this? <laughs> is that a dog toy? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Ooh, be, be quiet. Desi's in the other room. He'll, he'll hear that. This one does not have a price on it. Um, but I can assume it's probably like a $10 toy. I guess we'll just sell this for five bucks at the flea market. It hasn't even been touched. So we'll just call it five bucks. Um, what is this? It's another dog toy. Okay, so that's another. Wait, I don't know. Is that even worth five bucks? I don't know. You know? Band aids. Nice. Uh, so, I don't know. Two bucks. I'll call that three dollars. Okay. Two bows. Two bows. <laughs> I mean, we probably won't get anything for that. The girls yeah. will use it. Um, ooh, look how cute this hat is. Yeah, summer hat. Look at that nice little summer hat. I mean, it's a little out of season for it, but uh, I don't know. We can get a few dollars for that. What do you yeah. think? Maybe three bucks? Yeah. The thing about the small stuff is, ooh, what is this? It's a wash blanket. No. Really? Oh, okay. But it's got a zipper in it. Oh, I have no idea. Maybe it's a pillowcase? Uh, you're right. It's a pillowcase. Well, I was just looking at what it said, because look, 
It said standard sham washed black. Okay. Maybe like wash blanket. <laughs> That's a pillowcase. Okay. Yeah, it is a pillowcase. <laughs> <laughs> We're great home decorists. <laughs> okay, so we can get maybe two bucks for that. It's actually kind of soft too, so this is really great because the the big stuff makes our profit in the flea market. But this this four and five dollar, two dollar items, that's what draws people in because they're drawn to the deals, um, and that pays our rent. Um, these are um, organizers. Yeah, that's cool. So these are all. Wait a minute, we have a whole bunch of them. Mm -hmm. Organizer, organizer, organizer. How many Is it like have? a set or something? It's a, I, I don't no. think so. Um, that was one by itself. Yeah, this one here is an, these are, okay, so this is one and it's got the bottom. So that's a hole, that's one, that's two, uh, three, I'm gonna throw stuff. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry guys, sorry. Okay. Those are kind of cute, too bad they're not our size. The size that we need, I know. Yep. Five. That's the underbed thingy. Is this that is it? the underbed organizer? No. Oh. What in the world? It's an accordion. What wow. is this? Oh! Oh. Shoe thing! It's a shoe rack, that's it. Alright. That's gotta go for a couple bucks at the flea yeah, market. For sure. Okay, and then this is the under under bed organizer, I think. Maybe this was supposed to come with more than this. This. Yeah. And then we've got this one, which is the big one. Does this go in here? Okay. All right. So I say these things are really like this right here, full price. This is like six or seven dollars mm -hmm. at Walmart. I know. So Target's probably going to be the same or a little bit more. So I'm thinking if we can sell this dude for $5 and these dudes for $3 a piece, yeah. uh, that's a good discount and we're still making money on the side yeah. drawing people in. Oh, another one. All right, so that's another one. And this is a broken a broken fan. So mm, I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, I feel like a peacock. <laughs> Okay, so all in all, that whole box of everything that we got, that's about $50 profit for us. What is CRC? Carton contains defective items is what it says. Oh, okay. So, I hope not. And I don't know if this is true, but it's got like a return thing. It's got like TV antennas. It can be, because there's like a TV on there. So I'm not exactly sure what is in here. a lot of stuff in there a lot of stuff oh my it's like a uh, amplifier a marine amplifier system that's cool. it doesn't look like it's ever been opened that's sweet so like it's uh, on sale right now for $44. So it's on sale for 44 bucks. So that's a good $30 profit for us. And then we got some things that I like to see. Oh yeah, you cell know those. Cell phones. So it's like that one is new. That one is also is new. The only bad thing about these is that I, I know that these are not gonna be able to be activated for service. So they're gonna have to be sold for parts on eBay, uh, which is okay because there's lots of international buyers that will buy these. But I know that these right here, this particular model, that we can get $20 profit per phone. So that's $40 right there. Even if they can't be activated? Even if they can't be activated that's because. That's awesome. Yeah. Overseas. What is that? Oh, is that the antenna thing that they were talking about? Wait, so, what is this? It's another, it's another amplifier kit. And it doesn't look to ever been open. It's still got the seal on there still intact so that's awesome wow not even open not even what open. in the world i know so i couldn't get to scan on the target app i don't know why it could be me i'm just not very good at it so i'm gonna scan it on ebay since i know that's where we are gonna sell it and there wasn't any available on ebay and just for giggles i'm gonna look on amazon just to get an idea of how to appraise this amazon pulled up but it didn't find the exact model 
Uh, so I'm going to enter it in manually on target. So item not found. So I have no idea <laughs> how much it's going to sell for. I know this one right here. We so we get thirty dollars profit. It's the same company. It's a two channel. This is a four channel. So I'm going to go ahead and call thirty dollars profit on this one also. And then we've got an HD wig antenna. Cool. How about has the condition of that box? Looks like it has been open. Sorry, I was moving too fast. So opening up the antenna and it still it, looks good. No. No, something's wrong with it. They stuck it to something. Oh yeah. So I'm not exactly sure. Maybe they bought it, they didn't like it. I don't know. Um, this may be something that we can sell at the flea market because this is gonna work. They made us not have liked it for the value, uh, but I'll hook it up to our TV uh, and check it. If it works and everything, we'll try and sell it for 10 bucks at the flea market. So it gets a little Bluetooth head, some blue Bluetooth headphones, and they are working as you can see. These can be tested. Uh, I know these headphones here, uh, they're not top of the line, so they should profit for at least $10, uh, whether online or locally. And then we've also got this little Tilemate 2018, which I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping to, uh, to find something that was like, what is that? It's like one of those little Bluetooth tracking device thingies. Maybe. I don't know. Let me scan it. So I don't know exactly what it does yet, <laughs> but it's something to do with fitness. I guess it's like a fitness tracker or something like that, where you can put on your different stuff. It's like a little tracking device. It's $25 online. So $15 profit in our pockets. It's supposed to be a little uh, wireless phone charging that you stick your phone to and uh, it charges your phone like that. It sounds that. like there's like pieces like dangling. Yeah. Oh, snap. It's been used before. And I'm thinking what happened with this is that they bought it and the phone that they have doesn't support wireless charging. So they probably sent it back that it didn't work. It was defective, but your phone has to have a specific technology for it. Um, but we can test that pretty easy yeah. because we do have phones that support wireless charging. Yeah. So we could just put one of our phones on it. Would you quit? Look at you. I know. Dropping stuff. But as far as what it's worth. So this is brand new. It's a $55 wireless wow, car charger that's a nice one. so if this works even in use condition i'm thinking 20 dollar profit nice so this whole box we just tallied it up and it's like it's going to give us 140 dollars profit just load it up on here okay do you need help no i can do it <laughs> i mean i'm a professional you have been doing crossfit however okay i not... know that you always save the heavier boxes <laughs> You could have grabbed this box over here. <laughs> I'll grab the big box underneath it that time. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. It's a lot of stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. All right, I'm gonna just grab a few and we'll just take turns, babe, because this one looks fun. You almost got me with that. <laughs> Sorry, my bad, my bad. All Look right. at all that stuff, y'all. So this is a coffee maker. Yep. Brew now or later. That's cool. Uh, uh, it's box been, I mean, it's yes, uh, but I don't know. It doesn't look like it's been like maybe I don't know if it's been like returned or if it's like a shelf pull type thing. Um, let's look at the tape, it's like it's got one layer, one layer of tape. Look I'm at gonna it. open it on the bottom because the top is so perfect, just to see any structural damage. It doesn't look like it's been used, it looks really dirty though. Okay, so this is on sale for $24.99. It's regular $29.99. Right. So we can make a good $15 off of this if it works. Next on the list, uh, how big is this? It's a pool cover. Mm -hmm. I just don't, okay, 12, 12 and a half, half feet. feet. 
All right, cool. So standard sole pull cover. I'm having a really hard time finding prices on the Target app, um, but there is one that is rectangular that's selling for $24.49. No, $27.49. Um, so that being said, I can probably try and comp it from that. I think I'm just going to put this in the flea market. I mean, they'll be closing pools soon anyway. I can probably get 10 bucks for this. Alrighty. Oh, a twin size knit blanket. Nice. Very nice. Whoa, I'm throwing Looks things. brand new. Yep, hasn't even been opened. Uh, it's gray, which is honestly a really great color right now. All of our gray stuff sells so much faster than any other color. Um, and I'm thinking it's just the style these days. We can probably get 20 bucks for this at the flea market just because it's brand new, it looks really good, and you can get one at Target for $10 more. Why not get ours? So I'm gonna pull these couple of items here first, and I don't know if any of this is going to be sellable. Yeah, they some of it looks like it's missing some. Yeah. So, <laughs> I don't know if they tried it, they didn't like it. Uh, maybe it fell and broke, maybe? This is obviously something that can't be used. Ooh, what the, ooh, that's, that looks like a chip and joint again, something, something. It is a uh, Magnolia. Yep. All right, chip and joint again. And it's got a retail price of $39.99, but ours is Brocan. Well, we ain't getting $39.99 no. after that. And uh, I'm sure it can be fixed. It's going to take some work because you, cause you can see here, this has come loose from this edge and now it's on the thing but as you can see all the sticky residue so not only you're gonna have to get that back in place and secure it but you're also gonna have to clean up all that stickiness so is that something that we want to do I don't know uh, but either way I think this could probably sold for ten dollars so it looks like um, I guess it's a one pack <laughs> Well, I was confused because we don't buy this kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it is a one pack, so that's good. It's a wet jet. I was thinking it was two pack, you know, but it's like it got open. I don't know. You know, it looks like there should be something else in there, right? It does. It yeah. looks like there should be something. Maybe it came with the actual wet jet. I don't know. Maybe. Circle it. Stop it. All right. Okay, so it's supposed to uh, come. That makes sense. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I you knew so there was something. <laughs> See, my face, it warranted that face because there was something missing. So, I don't even know. Two bucks at the flea market? Sure. So, we've got some more half-use cleaning supplies. Um, All-purpose cleaner. So, I, Just, you, <laughs> okay. you know, so all zero dollars it doesn't feel as though this tide one has been used but it's another antibacterial fabric spray so i don't know and then a lotion yep yeah, and this one i don't think has been used because you know how that little thing gets uns unscrewed yeah and then it's hard to screw it back without squirting stuff everywhere but you can also <laughs> see that the little way is clear so Thinking like three bucks at the flea market. Okay. Uh, broken bucket. Broken bucket. I mean, the kids can play with that outside or something. I'm not yeah. gonna sell this. It was only two dollars to begin with. So. You mean we can't resell it for ten? No. You never know. You never know. Uh, ooh, look at this. Ah, that's cool. And it doesn't look like it's been opened because it's got the original tape yeah. on it. Uh, it's busted pretty good, so I think it might, I, you know, this might be a good, it comes, the batteries are still in there, so yeah. obviously. It has not been opened. It has not been opened, so this is kind of cool. Give it fun. <laughs> That's got to make it. <laughs> what was that, Jessica? I don't know. Uh, you put your, fan on your, your phone on your shoulders? Sometimes. <laughs> uh... So this was, okay, so this is 20 bucks online. Awesome. Um, so that's pretty cool. So we can sell this for, uh, I don't know, like 10 bucks at yeah. the flea market. Oh, fancy feast. <laughs> Did you fancy that? Uh. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting excited. because I was going to tell you to in, not pull the cat was, food out like that. It was uh, in the... Listen, it was in the box like this, look. Okay, and it doesn't look open at all, and I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. And then, as you can see, down there, <laughs> you see down there? 
<laughs> I made a mess. Yes, you did. Um, we've got all 30 of them. So it must have been just a damaged box or something. They're all fine. A couple of dented cans on here. I don't even know how much cat food sells for. Um, let me find out real quick. Twenty-three ninety-nine. So uh, since it's, I mean, brand new, unopened canned food, fifteen dollars at the flea market booth, and yeah. call it a day. We've got more cleaning supplies. Wait and a minute, are those all tied? These are all tied, and they, judging by the weight, these two have not been used. Along. I wonder if someone like bought, bought like a bowl. I'm not sure. Or and this one, these three have not been used or emptied. I don't know. This one has been. So I'm thinking that we can sell these for sure at the flea market. I don't even know how much this stuff sells for. So Tide Antibacterial Fabric Spray retails for $6 per bottle. So I'm thinking we can get $3 per bottle on these. That's half off. All right, so let's get Somebody will buy it, especially with the times that we are in. All right, so we've got this one. It's oh, empty, isn't it? It's empty. <laughs> so. Huh. I wonder if they spilled somewhere or something. I don't, I don't know. know. This one, it looks like to be full. I mean, it's way up here. You can see. And it looks like it's, yeah. I don't know. So, yeah. you're saying three bucks is the flea market for that also. And then we've got some red cups. Solo cups. I don't think we can do anything with these. No, they, but it makes a great homeschooling activity. Yes, because they have been used. I don't know if some, they haven't been used, but they've been opened. Who knows what types of toxic spray with that stuff has been on them. So, zero. So it's a little decorative rod. It looks like it has been open, but it has never been used because it's still got all of the stuff in there. And how do I know it's been open? Because this right here should be on the end right here. Oh where yeah, the it hanging, has been the hanging stapled. post. Yeah. But yes, like he said, all of the, all that is still in the, in the bag and unopened. So it hasn't been installed or used. It's been open though. No results found. Target app sucks. <laughs> All this stuff is supposed to come from Target, but none of it scans. So I don't know. Uh, Five dollars at the flea market. Yeah, well, we yeah. have an animal, so we'll just keep that. Out. And then a uh, cherry limeade sprinkling water. Sparkling, sparkling water. <laughs> it's gonna be sprinkling if I. <laughs> <laughs> It is highly pressurized. Look at that though, because it may be sprinkling in here anytime. <laughs> uh, Are you foreshadowing something? I don't know. And then we have some diapers. This looks like honest diapers. Yeah, these are pampers. Oh, just kidding. Looks like we have some pampers diapers. I don't know what size these are. Uh, they're not in the original box. Oh yeah, they're big. They're big sizes, yeah. whatever size they are. So that's cool. We'll have to figure out the size on these. If not, uh, I'm thinking $5 per package in the flea market. And then we've got some pull-ups, Toy Story pull-ups. Nice. Uh, size 2T to 3T. Cool. So these are an easy uh, $10 per package also. So we got the rest of the small stuff of box number three, a uh, total of $42 for all that. Oh, oh. Not quite so big, but I see fabric right there. Could that be clothes? I, I kind of hope not because I'm not really good at reselling clothes, no. but I'm trying to pull this up so I don't cut anything. I know uh, I make a lot of people nervous with my amazing cutting skills and I apologize. In advance Nobody was injured in the making of this video yet. yet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yay, clothes. Yay. I'm so excited. But we got some cool little guns. Oh, cool. Uh, rival precision battling. Uh, looks like it has been. Yeah. Is it an all the way up? Yeah. There's another one. That one has not been. Yes, it has, has. That sucks. Has it got the clips in there? Did they buy them for the clips? Probably not. Oh, there they go. Ah. Oh. How do you do it? Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you stop it? <laughs> I'm really sorry. Have you open face now? <laughs> ah! <laughs> 
scheduled programming. <laughs> okay, these are fifteen dollars. So brand new fifteen brand bucks. Brand new fifteen bucks. So we might get like maybe seven bucks a piece. Yeah. You think or maybe no, I think you know price them for eight dollars a piece at the flea market. Okay. Somebody will buy them. Alright. Oh I'm just really not a fan of clothes man. No. This is That's a, a guy's shirt. Sweater. Large. Um, Won't fit I me. I wish I had tags. Like, there's no tag on this. No, which this sucks for us because we can't sell clothes at the flea market that aren't brand new. So if it doesn't have a tag, we can't sell it there. So this is going to require a lot more research. Yeah. It's like this one has a tag. This I could sell on face. I could sell these on Facebook Marketplace yeah. though. So there it's white, ten dollars, large. If they're all large, then maybe we can sell them in a lot. So sorting through the clothing and the shoes and all of that, um, these are going to be sold a different way. But we're going to get make sure that we get these at the flea market booth, and all together we should make about ninety dollars on all of it. So some of you are probably wondering why we're selling this clothing in our flea market booth versus online. Well, we don't have a photographing area set up for clothing. You could easily sell these clothes online and you could probably sell them online. But for the prices that we're charging, if we did sell them online, that would be our profit anyways. So it'd be easy for us just to take them to the flea market booth put them there, not have to worry about taking pictures, not having to ship and still make the same amount of money. All right. So it looks like we've got lots of new items in here. We got some Funko DC bombshells collectors. This is the first time we've box. ever gotten Funko Pops. I know. It's funny, we were asking about during live stream the other day about Funko Pops and stuff, and we're like, we never get them. And then somebody on there was like, using a lot of Target stuff, you get Funko Pops. And then here we are. So and they're new, in box, plastic, yeah. already wrapped. Looks like we've got six of those. Looks like we've got some iPhone X cases. It's like we've got three of those. We've got three of these Sony headsets right here. And. What's that? Goodfellows. Looks like some spray stuff. But looks like we're missing uh, one of the bottles. Like a cologne? Oh, it must be cologne. I guess that's what it is, because it's like cedarwood and geranium. They're actually. Well, it says oat. Eau de cologne. Yeah, so it's guy smells because I, d I doubt a woman will wear spice, don't, ginger, don't and rum. Don't you spray that with my sensitive nose. It's, I think you'd like these though. Let me smell. This one is uh, blue sage and tonka. I love sage. I like tonka truck. Is this Ooh, like a tonka truck? Smells good. Oh yeah. You can, you can keep this. <laughs> I'm going to look these up using the eBay <laughs> app because that is where we're going to be selling these. And uh, it looks like these are selling anywhere from fifteen to twenty-five dollars. So this, it's light enough to where it, it can ship first-class mail. So I'm thinking, thinking that we'll price these for twenty-two bucks, and we'll get about twelve dollars profit per. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seventy-two dollars profit off of this. It's kind of a bummer. I was thinking these would be worth more, but they're only selling for around $10 a piece, 10 to $12. So we've got the three of these. We'll probably make $8 off of each. So we'll say $24 for those. So, and then these are selling for uh, about $8 on average per. So after shipping and everything, looking at $3 a piece, so $9.
So we are halfway done. And remember, we paid $450 for this palette. So our goal was to hit $900 in revenue so that we double our money. And I just did the math. We're at $513, which is exciting. It didn't seem like a whole lot. I didn't think we were anywhere near that because of all the small items that added up to be a whole lot. Uh, but it's exciting that we are in the profit and the rest of this palette, it should be good. Got another box. It feels light. What do you think's in here? Well, if it's light, it's definitely not tied. <laughs> you want to know what it is? Yeah. Oh, that's why you said that because it was a tied <laughs> box. I'm like, that's a yes. random thing to say. Oh, Funko Pops. Yep. And I know nothing about Funko Pops. I don't either. This one's off the box. Does that matter? Like, it's like. Rose. It's, it's Rose and Jack from the Look, Titanic. Everybody loves that movie. Yeah. But the ending always like makes me mad. Yep. Because oh. Bastion. Bastion, Bastion from what? From Overwatch, obviously. Yeah. And I do know with Funko Pops that they want boxes that are pristine condition and all and that. It adds not. to the uh, the lore of it. And these are not it's like you got some dented corners. You've got the one that Rose is barely hanging on. Here's why I have an issue with it, okay? So she she loves this guy Jack. And then oh Jack Lord, here we go. And then Jack dies, right? And then she gets married and has kids and all of this other stuff. And I'm like, when she died and she finally passed away at the end, spoiler alert, I hope you've seen it by now. But like, when she passed away at the end, she meets Jack on a boat in heaven? No. What about this husband that you built a whole life with? Where's he at? You know? I just, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> 1650, 1350, 1650, 1550. All right. So we should profit about $10. A piece? A piece. So that's $40 here? Yep. And then this guy's probably different, right? I'm coming like a wrecking ball. And then... That's what his name is, is wrecking yeah, ball? Yeah, but he's different than this guy. Okay. So do I need to check them both? Yeah. I do it, okay? I do it for you? Yes. I do it for you. 1650 No. Yes, yeah, 1650 And then this guy sold for... 1046 plus 31 dollars shipping. Whoa, so 41 dollars? Yeah. Nice. So with this little dude here, looks like we're gonna profit around eight dollars based off the selling, how much is gonna cost to ship and uh, fees. And this little dude here, he's sold for that much money. Uh, well, he was shipped from the UK too. Right. Does that count? No, I mean, it, that just shows the value what somebody's worth paying okay. and if it's sold for forty dollars total that if we are able to sell it for that same price then that's thirty dollars profit so but we can call it twenty five dollars to be conservative so twenty five plus eight plus forty is uh seventy three dollars sweet so we got another tide box and uh is it full of tide no what is that electronic something Sony oh. headphones, brand new, sealed in the box. We've got some Skull Candy ones. Looks like three nice. of those brand new, sealed in the box. That's awesome. Sealed. And then we got some other ones. Granted, oh. these are, they were on clearance at Target. They didn't sell, but that's okay because Christmas is coming and this stuff sells awesome during Christmas. I'm going to sold listings. That's awesome. So these are selling for $35 to $40 a piece. Wow. Yeah, even some sold for $45, $44.99. So that's pretty sweet. So price these for $40. After fees and everything, we'll make $35 a piece. So that's $70 total right here. So brand new for these, they're selling for $180 to $220 what a piece. What in the world? Yes, $200 a piece these are selling for. That's $600 right there after fees and shipping I, i'm thinking oh sorry my brain won't even do the your math. brain's exploding <laughs> <laughs> so 222 dollars <laughs> so i'm thinking easy 200 dollars profit for each of these after shipping and fees that's 600 bucks y'all well, i can right tell you there. we made our goal <laughs> <laughs> wow that's freaking crazy these these paid for the palette right there hands down this right here just paid for our palette and then some 
All right, so these are still good money, not that kind of money, but these are gonna be an easy $40 profit. Nice, okay. <laughs> salvage, salvage. I know, this is not safe, y'all. But I also have to be really careful not to cut whatever's underneath, because you just don't know. All righty. It's not a six hundred dollar box. It is definitely <laughs> not a six hundred dollar box. We got some honest diapers. What size? Size four. All right. So that's like for twenty two to thirty seven pounds. These are overnight, so they're heavy wetters. Yeah. Um. So I guess five bucks at the flea market. Easy money there. Diapers take a minute to sell, but they eventually always do. Here's a twin pack of some deep moisturizing body wash. Um, it's a twin pack of some uh, up and up. It's kind of like a brand that Target carries. Uh, so I say four bucks at the flea market, move it quick. These cute little shoes, size large for large girls. Uh, they're $14.99, I'll sell them five bucks at the flea market as well. Nothing. It's like a mini cake stand. <laughs> we can always display stuff at our flea market book. Yeah. Oh, flea market book. Anyway, I would say these are just a dollar a piece. Move them on. Yeah. Uh, not this. This will be a Pez, display for the display <laughs> wow. thing. So that's three dollars for all that. All right. So counting all the small stuff together that came out of this box, I'm gonna say that, I mean seventeen dollars. I mean, it's kind of. After that last box, it's kind of nothing, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> this is a uh, first thing that came off, caught my eye. It's a four by six outdoor rug. Yeah, yeah, it's a four by six outdoor rug. And uh, it's green, it's really cute. Uh, there's no way, there's no identifying information on here. The the thing on here says gray, threshold gray. That's clearly this not is gray. clearly not gray. Uh, but rugs sell really well. Um, it's in, it's not in terrible condition. It's a little bent, but it's not in terrible condition. So I'm gonna put this in the flea market booth. I'm gonna sell it for ten dollars. Uh, moving on, broken bin. Broken Nada. bin. Uh, it's got a, it's like this. Well, I mean the bottom bin is this is really flimsy plastic. Yeah. I'll say. Like this is not like like it is like really yeah. flimsy plastic. So nothing for that. This is a flagpole. Cool. Um, it attaches to, you know, it's one of those ones that go out from the, On house. the house. Cool. Um, and it looks to be just fine. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this would be a good. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's a price on here. I think that would do well in a flea market booth. For sure, flea market booth, ten bucks. All right. Some more diapers, size six. These are huge. These are. Not huge, but they're and those don't sell well in our flea market. But they they don't sell very well the bigger sizes. But I'll put them in the flea market booth with the other ones for ten dollars. Maybe eventually they'll sell. More cat food, and all the cans are there, so that's Sweet. good. So, okay, so this one this sells for six dollars. So I'll sell it for four dollars at the flea market since it's perfect condition. Oh no, more more dog food, cat food. Looks like it. It's like it's still good. Ooh, top sirloin flavor. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, all right. Nice. How many is this? What is there a... Uh... It's like 24 count. All right. 89 cents a piece. So 90 cents a piece, there's 24 of them. So it's like $20 for a case. So, so $15. Yep, I'm good with that. Ooh, nice. I don't know about this. Blanket <laughs> full queen micro plush. Micro plush. Ooh. <gasps> it's so got fuzzies everywhere. So... You're gonna get fuzzies in your hair. Fine. That's I don't think it's supposed to be like that. I think that's defective. It's a threshold, incredibly soft with year-round warmth. Yeah, but that shouldn't fuzzy like that. Yeah. That's defective. It has to be. That's oh, it's super like fuzzy. Feeling really yeah. bad. Yeah. So that's garbage. It's not bad though. We are uh, how far into this box, and we've just uh, got the first two items. Uh, uh, it's a lot of shoes, a lot of clothes. So we're going 
threw these clothing. We were not expecting this big box of clothing, but we know it's what you expect sometimes with Target palettes like this. And there are some items that do have tags and there are some that do not. But looking at what we can sell that does have tags, that's gonna be worth our time being able to move and sell. It's gonna be about $100 in profit for these items. The other items we are going to end up donating. There's a few items that we may, um, you know, we may keep or we may give to some friends and family depending on the size and the condition, which none of this has been used. It's all, it's just all the tags are out of the package and we just can't sell that for what it's worth. So we'll be donating a lot of it and then finding some homes for the rest of it. Little feeling. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff in here too. There's a lot of stuff. It's crazy in these boxes. There's just so much stuff. Look at this. Yeah. Looks like part of it's right here though. So let's go ahead and get these out. Cabinet like some, organizers. Uh, cabinet organizers. Those are nice. And there's two of those. I mean, these would sell for a good five bucks at the yeah. flea market a piece. So I got, a, I don't know, a sheet set? Looks like just one sheet though. <laughs> it's got several sheets in there. It's oh. all rolled up. I don't okay. know what size those are. Um, it's just, actually I say no packaging and then there I find that. <laughs> so it's an organic sheet set, which is nice. They'll be a All right, so here we go. It's a Magnolia Hearth, Hearth and Home. So. Full size? Yep, full size. It's like $40 brand new. So that's something we might be able to sell new open box for like 25 bucks. Yeah. We do have this radio flyer thing. Hide that from Lucas. I know. Looks like it does have some scratching and scuffs on it, but. If it all works together, it'll sell at the flea market booth for yes, really good. Will. And it's looking like they just gave up on putting it together. <laughs> uh, this is something we'd probably have to put together to put at the flea market booth. Yeah. $70 radio flyer thing. So we put it together. I'm thinking an easy $50. Nice. All right, so we got this little walk behind thing. Oh, that'll sell at the flea market yeah. easy. 10 so bucks. 10 bucks. Tablecloth here. That's pretty. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. We got some chlorine free, but it's package has been open, so oh. that's gonna be zero. Chlorine free for what? They're pads. Oh, okay, yeah, but they're open. Yeah, but they're open, so. What is that? Some uh, turbo jet thing. Uh, it's bent. I don't know if it's supposed to be bent. It may be supposed to be a bit, but it's like a little sprayer attached to a hose. Oh, okay. It is supposed to be bent. So that's cool. Got a little another iPhone case from earlier. It's just a different color. Got oh, a little, spring shade for yeah. the um, yeah. car. So these are items that are easily sell in our flea market booth. Looks like we've got an empty Paw Patrol box. I don't know if it's inside <laughs> or not. Uh, a uh, steam cleaner. Nice. Yep. Yeah. The rest are closed. Looks like oh, we got a. That's a uh, cool looking clock. It's broken. Yeah. It is broken because like, that's all bent. Yeah, it's not supposed to be bent down like that. But it may still work, I don't know. Uh, just have to test, test it. it. Put it at the flea market booth, a couple dollars. Got some Sharpies. Oh, nice. And uh, another phone charger right there. It's like a six foot micro USB charger. All this stuff, great flea market booth for a couple dollars. We got some... Uh, some more pads, yep. it's like, yeah. And it's looking like the rest of this is all closed. Cool. 25 bucks for all this stuff here. Flea market booth. Last box, last box. So uh, looking at all this stuff, we're at almost $1,500. Remember our goal was to double at $900. Uh, so if we get maybe $300 out of this, we'll have tripled our money on this, which is very exciting. A lot more work than I was wanting to do, but for tripling our money, I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, looking inside, okay. Oh, glass food storage set. Nice. 
which that's pretty cool. Um, let me just do a quick look. Yeah, yeah, looks good. Sweet. Here is a uh, back compression support. Nice, extra large, large. Here, it's obviously been opened. Um, it's $19.99, so if it's all good, I'll sell it for 10 bucks. And it looks, oh yeah, it looks good. It looks like somebody took it out of the box. Maybe it didn't fit, they didn't like it. I'm not seeing any damage. Um, <laughs> Maybe that's what happened to them. They tried to get it out of the box and they could not. There we go. Yeah, it's yeah. perfectly fine. Sweet. So that's another 10 bucks at the flea market. I'm sure this will sell. Fitness stuff, it sells. It may take a little while, but it will sell. Yes, uh, this is a, ooh, a uh, gr groin grooming kit. Groin grooming kit. It's designed specifically for groins. <laughs> they call it, they call the it lawn the lawnmower. lawnmower. 3.0. <laughs> so there's been two previous versions of the lawnmower. <laughs> Read about this here, because I'm just like, you know, did they try it out first? I'm just going full, full, full guns blazing. I mean, you're just doing it. I am. It looks like it's never been used because there would be... Maybe some passive-aggressive wife bought it. <laughs> wow, this is a, that's $70. What? Yep. Look inside the other, the other box. So, it's like the stuff's still in there. Yep, that's the charger. Yep. And this is the stand. All right. So, it's got the charger and the stand and the instructions. Yep, so new open box item. Sweet. You've been manscaped. <laughs> so we'll, we can sell this online. Yeah. We can make $50 all in. Here is a broken tank top. Yep. Spanx, broken Spanx. Boop. Um, birthday princess sash. Nice. There is a logo throw frosty fleece. It looks very frosty. It's very frosty. They got it zip tied for a reason. Maybe we shouldn't undo that. <laughs> Opening up Pandora's box. Yes. 2020 doesn't need anything else. Ooh, how about the 60s? Nice. I had one when I was younger. I did too. L lava lamps are cool. All right, so this is the stand. Mm-hmm. Um, ooh, y'all. What is on the, what is wrong with this? I think it has been opened before. Okay, it's just this stuff. Yeah. The lamp stuff. So. I don't know if we'll reach way up there or not. Looks like it's got, still got the thing on there, but it's clearly been unpackaged. You know what? Isn't there supposed to be a top to this? Yep, and it's missing. No top. Oh, that's sad. Yep. So, that. We can sell it. We can try and sell it as is for five dollars. Maybe somebody won't care, or they have something yeah. else they can put on top. So we'll put this at the flea market booth. We'll sell it for five dollars. Let them know the top is missing. Yeah. Um, and maybe somebody will get it and know what to do with it. Um, but I don't feel comfortable selling it full price and I don't have time to shop around for a replacement part uh, Just to make a few dollars because lava lamps are not the priciest things on this palette and therefore should not be what we spend most of our attention on um, And then a cute little uh, That's cool. Handbag. Yeah We've got some earrings mm -hmm. that's missing a couple and this is a uh, Peeper Perfect. I don't know what that means. Oh, it's concealer. Ah. It's eye concealer. Took me a minute. Um. Ah! Why you gotta be so violent? <gasps> you broke it. <laughs> it was evidently, it was already cracked or something <laughs> beforehand. <laughs> so that's, oh, didn't hold the, up. Oh, my dreads are like. Oh, ah, there you go. Party sash thing. This, um, it's, Busted. It's slime. Yeah, it That's is. Been busted. Here's some finger finger puppets. Oh, cool. <laughs> so there's that. Um, this is a camp cook set. Hmm. 
That's cool. Well, that's pretty cool. Camp cooks. I mean, it has no information, no brands, nothing. So I couldn't get the zip tie off, so I just pulled it back. <laughs> you and did. I hope you just didn't open up something because uh, that was zipped locked. It hasn't been touched. Yeah, it's perfectly Stanley. fine. It's okay, so it's Stanley. Oh, that's cool. I mean, it so has all like, the little contraptions. And then that's cool. This is a. Oh, yeah. This is us. That's what we need oh, when we go backpacking look and at stuff. Look this. So like, y'all, this is cool. Look at this. So you can like, it, whatever you need. You need a spatula. You got you a spatula. You got you a spatula. You need, you need a, you need a ladle for soup. You need a soup ladle. Oh, you got it. That's cool. How cool is that? And then look, look at this bowls bro that's nice we can sell that for easy ten dollars at the flea market yeah that and then ooh, look steel I, series another, that's a nice that's an expensive brand hold on i'm gonna price this real quick we got one of these on the unboxing of extreme unboxing on the unboxing <laughs> we unboxed one of these on extreme unboxing we unboxed one and of these. this steel series is a very expensive brand of headsets look don't get too excited I know. until so we'll have to test it 99.99 99 sweet 99.99 so we can test this but we'll probably sell this online so how much do you think we'll make after I mean, this series, if, if it's, it depends on the condition. I don't, we haven't opened the box yet. So, I mean, if it looks new, is new. Looks new. So that doesn't look like it's been open. Let's look at the ear pieces. It has, this is tape. No, it's not. No. Ear pieces. I always look for stray hair, yep. which I don't see. So these don't look like they've ever been used before. So. If they're priced, they're going for 99 bucks. Yes. So I think we'll price it at $90 and okay. we'll make $75 profit. Yeah. All right, everybody. So that is a wrap on the Target, our first Target palette. And uh, what do you I say? enjoyed it. Yeah. Y'all been talking about Target palettes out there. And I totally get why you say that. Yeah. It's a lot of it. If, if you're only wanting to sell online, this type of Target palette may not be the palette for you. But if you do have a flea market booth or you're wanting to do flea market booths or garage sales and also sell online, this is the perfect palette for it because there is lots of great stuff to sell online. That was brand new case pack stuff and also mm -hmm. a lot of new stuff that we can sell in the flea market. Uh, but we end up doing the math. Uh, we remember we paid $450 for this and we did our, the total was $1,659. And remember that's profit estimates, that's after fees, shipping and all that. So that's a $1,200 profit off of this one pallet. So if you have the opportunity to get a Target pallet, I can't guarantee it's gonna be like that. But from what I'm hearing, this is kind of on par for other Target pallets. Yeah, I think my favorite thing about these uh, Target pallets as opposed to the Amazon mm -hmm. pallets, is the stuff that came off the Target palettes are like retail ready. Everything is nice yeah. and boxed. So with the Amazon, you don't really get that. So this was gonna be a lot simpler for our local sales area. Yeah. I think it's gonna be great to be able to just put a clear market booth. People know exactly what it is. Right. Price it. A lot of it has the retail price on there already. So it's exciting, but we'll put a link down to uh, in the description to Natural State Liquidators if you are in the Central Arkansas area and you're looking at pallets, check them out. Yep, and we so appreciate you guys for watching. Yep. Until next time. Peace. peace.